So the heat mapping project is a partnership led by NOAA, um, partnering with the City of Columbia and Richland County and the citizen science volunteers to map the air temperature and humidity around the city. Those of us who lived in the city knew that there was a bit of a heat island because the temperature from the um, in-town um, campus weather station has always a couple degrees higher than the one out at the Columbia Airport. Well, the temperature at the airport maximum was 93. There were large areas of the city with temperatures over 100. The one place you can see this contrast is over at Harbison. Look at the map in the um, Harbison area, you can see the, the real heat concentrated on that shopping center. And then going just a little bit further um, to the east, you can see the Harbison Forest where you've got a big preserved area that's much cooler. Well, the other thing we can see in the data is how relatively small areas of preserved tree cover can provide a nice buffer between residential areas and the hotter commercial areas. So we see the major commercial corridors, Harbison, downtown, um, Sand Hills, Richland Mall, Cross Hills Mall, those areas all appear as major heat islands. We've taken, as a, as a community, important first steps to be prepared um, to make smart investments about climate resilience. First answer is that heat is the number one killer among weather hazards. We hear a lot about hurricanes, lightning, tornadoes, but um, year in and year out, heat is the weather issue with the biggest public health impact. And this is why we have to plan, because we've already got areas that are um, uncomfortably hot, sometimes dangerously hot, and we're expecting that we're going to see more of those.